friends, this is me, MC Gamer, and you are tuned into Let's Play Wind Waker. On the last episode of Wind Waker, we did some more stuff, got to Dragon Roost Island, and I told you that we're going to try to finish up some of the stuff so we can get ready to go to the next dungeon. And that was a good plan, but we still have stuff to do. So um, it's been a while, friends. It's been a long, long time, friends. Um, uh, I've been... Uh, watching E3, the Skyward Sword and the Zelda Symphony and all that crap, and everything looks beautiful from Nintendo. I'm not gonna go and blather on about E3 though, because we have Wind Waker to do. Wind Waker is what needs to be done, and that is what we shall do today. There's Mapfish, our good and buddy Mapfish, who supplies maps. I would have never guessed. Here you are, friend. I'm going to eat this now. Pop out of the water, and then say, "Kay." <laughs> Oi, smart friend! Yeah, yeah, I've heard you take it. You want it? Oh yeah, we know what you want. Just shut up and mark my map. Link holds his belt in a fashion that nobody understands. Flight control platform. So that's where we're at right now. Right now, right here, tomorrow, or today, or okay, yeah. Oh, shut up. You shut up. I will slap you with your own paintbrush. Anyway, where, what, 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 where's the, yep, aha. Uh -huh. So let's see if we can uh, land here. Oh, okay, Red, Kingly Red Lions guy. Kingly Red Lions guy, where are you going, Kingly Red Lions guy? Kingly Red Lions guy. All right, there we go. Good work, Kingly Red Lions. Greetings, O person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman Contest! And now, listen, you are free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the rolling seas. Like so much of... Shut up. Okay, okay, wonderful. If you're able to pass the flag, you are then you will be the new champion! Oh, champion! Oh, look, he gave me free magic. How nice of him. Okay. Oh, a challenger. The contest is afoot. <laughs> look at that mustache. Look at that mustache. You see that banner for under the... This is the... Okay, yeah. Look at that mustache. Anyway. What? Mustache. Okay, so we have to go that direction. So let us set the wind with our wind walker. The direction has been set as northwest. And now we are going to take to the skies. Fly like an eagle. Well, that was fun. 70 yards. We are a bird man. Oh, yeah, I want to go again. All right, so let's, let, let us try setting it to X because that's what I'm used to. Is, is the wind still set to Northwest? Hope so, because I'm jumping! I'm a flying. No, come back, Whirly Windy! Whirly Windy! Whirly Windy! We've lost. I will do this.
Did I make it? Yes! Congratulations! Ow, that hurt my head. Your current record is an impressive 257 yards. Breathtaking, you have shown me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. My eyes and my mustache, they are unworthy. Amazing, you blew past my brother's best record in impressive fashion. You'd make a fine and distinguished member of the Rito tribe. I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so too. You are both great and talented. As the new champion of the Birdman contest, please accept this great and talented prize as I bump the microphone while I talk. It's a piece of heart. Oh, yeah. So happy. All right, so we have some other business to take care of. So right now, uh, now that we've done that, we have to go northwest to Seven Star Island, and I will see you there in just a moment. Anyway. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> I didn't see you come in. Anyway, <laughs> we're uh, here at Seven Star Isle. I'll show you where we are on the map. There we are. And we are looking for some seagulls. Uh, seagulls, do you see any seagulls? Not seagull, seagulls. I don't see any seagulls. Hmm. Oh, where, oh, where did my seagulls go? Oh, where, oh, where could they be? I see no... Wait, is that them over there? That's it right over there. So let's just quickly set our wind direction over there. Let's go quickly defeat another big octo. And for those wondering... Uh, yeah, the tame time came where I should have got my time limit removed if I was lucky, and I wasn't lucky. So. Big Octo! Kill him with fire! We're boomerang that too! No, Link! 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 You're getting dangerously close to this giant Octorok. Go. Giant Octorok is the uh, dead. Ooh, shiny. Oh, wow, it's been a long time since I heard that for some reason. So let's uh, whip out the good old grappling hook. And here we go. Oh my gosh, what is that? I don't even.
It's a piece of heart. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we have just a little bit left time, so we are going to head west uh, right over to this island. I'll see you there in a second. Okay, here we are, everyone, on um, uh, unnamed island. I, it's Crescent Moon Island, but we haven't got the thing for yet. And you just have to come out over here to a submarine. A yellow submarine, a matter of... No. Um, and we have some work to take care of inside this submarine. Namely... Yep. Bananas! Nanas! Nanas! No, 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 I hate them all! I'm gonna die! Dear Lord, Nanas! There you go, destroy the nanas! Get me. Okay, that's it. There we go, after all those nanas, we get proudly. Treasure chart number nine. Now, one second. There's one more thing we have to do here on Crescent Moon. All right, everyone. Just quickly come on to Crescent Moon Island. And right here next to these blue octos. Uh, wrong. Those, uh, not blue octos. What are they called? Blue choo-choos. Get rid of them. Grab yourself some blue choo-choo jelly. And then open the chest, and you're going to get treasure chart 10. Uh, but that's all the time we have for on this episode of MC Let's Play Wind Waker. I hate myself. Anyway, so I will see you all next time on Wind Waker.